From the smallest to the largest animals in the ocean, each one plays an important role in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. We have, I guess, what's called a carbon problem. So we have been, over the past several hundred years, emitting CO2 into the atmosphere through burning of fossil fuels, cement production, deforestation. The ocean is actually doing us a great service by absorbing about a third of those emissions. Microscopic phytoplankton is estimated to capture up to 20 billion tonnes of CO2 every year. A team of scientists, many based in Hobart, have been monitoring the Southern Ocean for the past 20 years. We really need to quantify how much carbon is going into the ocean for us to make accurate predictions of, of how we expect the climate to change over the coming decades and centuries. Every 12 months, scientists travel 36 hours by boat to release sediment traps in the sub-Antarctic zone collecting particles that sink from the surface of the ocean. There's a, a lot of processes that happen in between before this material that I analyse ends up at great depth. And so it is a small fraction and a lot has happened to it from the place of carbon dioxide to organic material. This research is also answering the question of how global climate change will alter the Southern Ocean's ability to absorb atmospheric CO2. We can see that there's a composition change, but um, other, other impacts we don't even know yet. Studying the ocean to better understand the future impacts of climate change. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.